is Mike O'Hearn lying about being natural, a new perspective on a lingering debacle regarding this guy's use of steroids. But who really cares anyway? Who cares about this? On a lighter side of my entertainment media, I'd like to throw my hat in the ring and really get into this with you guys. And I want to get tons of comments. Stay with me on this because at the end, I'm going to tell you what I think personally about this guy. Mike and I are about the same age. So Mike's 52 years old. He's been training and competing in bodybuilding and powerlifting since teenage years. And there's no question that Mike is absolutely incredible. He never went to the Olympia to, on that top, top level with guys like Ronnie Coleman and stuff. But he definitely competed at a very high level of powerlifting and bodybuilding. And the guy looks phenomenal. Even at his age right now, where so many people in their 40s start to really kind of deteriorate, this guy just looks absolutely freakish. I mean, so that's the question. Is he on drugs? It's incredible that that's like this whole YouTube thing in, in the world. Like everyone cares. Michael Hearn, is he on drugs? It just, it's such, it like it causes people to lose sleep, which I think it's kind of funny. So why would he lie? What's going on with that? We know that guys from the 80s and 90s definitely lied about steroid use. I called it, back in the 90s, a lying man's drug because there were tons of guys I knew that were on steroids in the gym, yet they would never fess up to it. And that was interesting. Then things moved on. Rich Piana, guys like this started opening up really not that long ago. Now it's beautiful. Things are wide open. So I have a double-headed opinion on Michael Hearn, is he natty or not? And is he potentially a liar because of this? So, number one, let's just consider this, guys. Is he natty? Is he that genetic freak? I mean, we always hear, hey guys, what's going on? For all you men that are on testosterone, self-administered anabolic steroid users in the world, and for men that are even under doctor's care, you wanna understand your labs. Guys, it's so important. I know you're into this. so. I cut a deal with Private MD Labs, 15% off just for you guys. Use the promo code ANABOLICDOC15. Check it out right here and get in there, guys, and get into your health. And thank you so much for trusting me, man. Keep you guys strong and healthy. Boom. Is he that genetic freak? I mean, we always hear that there's that one out of a million that can get that big and strong and freakish and compete up with the big boys, and it's one out of a million. Well maybe more than that, even one out of 10 million, even 20 million, 100 million, does that guy in the world exist? Look at a guy like Flex Wheeler, okay? Flex Wheeler said that he had a genetic mutation called myostatin deficiency, so he was super naturally incredibly gifted. Also, look at a guy like Ronnie Coleman. Now, in Flex's situation, also I assume in Ronnie's, of course we know this, that they went on to further their physique they use performance-enhancing drugs, steroids. Unfortunately, Flex has really suffered medical complications from that. So that would be interesting, right? So is he a genetic freak? And if he is, does he use small doses of steroids? Or is he just on TRT? Let's try to take it scientifically, guys, right? So, and we've seen this, right? Guys have talked about this. So let's look at the science on the guy. Look at the guy. Hair. Is that really his hair? Is it a hair transplant? I just don't know. His skin, because if you're on steroids for, for he's 50, he's been on this stuff potentially, supposedly for 20 or 30 years, you think he would lose his hair. It would have some effect on his hair. Very, very rare that it wouldn't. Skin, maybe acne, maybe you'd see this, but guys, some guys have great genes. They do steroids, they don't get one pimple. Traps, I love that, like, is the steroid killer, right? Determinator. Like, do you have these big beastie traps and delts? I don't know. Last piece on the science like this, observationally, children, fertility. So steroid users have issues with fertility. This has all been brought up about him, but I don't know if he has kids. Actually, I don't follow this guy that, that intimately. I don't think he has kids, but if he has kids, there are people that are natty and never have kids, both men and women. And there are massive steroid users, actually the biggest in the world, have tons of kids. So I'm not sure about that. 
I'll tell you one thing. He's 52 years old. He appears to be healthy. So maybe, maybe we're the fools. Maybe we're the fools. We're being played for the fool. And this guy is just potentially actually natty. Why is it so important? It, it riddles people with, it appears like envy, right? It just pisses people off. Everyone else is, has fessed up. You need to fess up, sir. So maybe Mike is a liar or maybe he's a little liar, right? Pinocchio, maybe he's got a little nose. Is it growing big? So is he on gear? Did he do gear? Is he on TRT now? This would make him a liar. Now, what is that worth? What is it worth to Mike? What is it worth to us? I'll tell you potentially what it's worth to Mike. It's worth about $4 million because if you just Google his net worth, it's 4 million bucks. So I thought of that. What is it worth to him? His business is all about training aids and books and videos and everything about training. Obviously, if the guy's saying he's completely natty, imagine how much of that sells. And if he comes out and says he's not natty, what's going to happen to the guy's finances? You got to understand that. Now, to us and to our society and young men as a whole, the relevance is definitely different versus to him. And that young men look up to a guy like this. They chase that dream. Is it unobtainable to think that you can get that muscular? Do you chase that dream? Do you use dangerous amounts of supplements that lead potentially to anabolic steroids? and peds, and then in the end, do men, many men, millions of men actually in the world, suffer body dysmorphia? We know what that is, big orexia. So imagine Mike came out right now, this day and age, and said, guys, big announcement. I'm really sorry. I haven't used much steroids. I use a little bit of steroids, guys, and now I'm shut down or I'm 52. And I'm on a little T or T right now, which is probably the truth. It just, it is what it is. Would you guys forgive him? Let me know. Would you forgive him? What would it do? What would that do for Mike O'Hearn? What would that do for the world? Isn't this fun? It's just such a fun break for medicine for me to think about this. But it's, I love to think of the spiritual and social and cultural issues surrounding the sport and the ped use. So Mike I hate to call someone a liar, but you know what? I think you're on TRT at least. I think you have used steroids, although I think maybe not much, and you're always consistent, and you have great genetics, but like Flex and Ronnie and these guys, they've all come out and said that despite having the top genetics in the world, they have used some PEDs. So, guys, should this guy really come clean? First off, who really cares? I certainly don't care, and I think most of you guys don't care. But it's fun to kind of debate it and it's fun to kind of discuss it and do videos on it. So on the lighter side of entertainment, guys, I want to thank you guys very much for enjoying my media because we're broadening things out, as you can see it, just having such a great time in the world. But most importantly, I do thank you men in the world for trusting me with your health and trusting me for so long as we go higher and higher together. Thank you so much.